Let's take a look at how the air control works. This is what the Condar stove temp thermostat box looks like. And these were really popular in the 80s. And let's take a look on how the thing works. It's a bimetal spring. And if you see inside there, you can see this little flapper that controls the air. If I turn the knob, you can see how it controls the open and the closed. But this metal spring, as it heats up, will also do the same thing. The way this thing mounts is, is it just screws in to this hole and you bolt this on to the hole where your spin draft knob used to be. It seems to work quite well. When the stove reaches the proper temperature of about 450 to 500 degrees, the secondary burn process starts and the stove starts to heat up quickly. And when that happens, the bimetal thermostat senses the temperature and starts to throttle down the air. And so what that does is closes the air off down here and forces more air through the secondary burn process, burning the gases that are coming off the wood, but slowing down the coal and the burn process That'll only go on for so long because it's starving for air, but it's burning all the gases. So if the stove temperature starts to drop, then the air intake opens back up, allowing air to go back in here and heating the process back up again. These two work together. This one just burns the secondary burn gases, and this one actually controls the burn process. This one slows it down. Now that's when there's wood in there. After the wood is consumed and all you have left is coals, this process still throttles and air still comes in both places, but you want but it just does it enough to keep the coals glowing and you get a large amount of radiant heat. The stove temperature drops to about 500 at that point, and usually that burn lasts for about four to five hours. Let's take a quick look inside the stove. As you know, it'll it's burning really nice and slow. If you take a look at where the air comes in, this is the lower part, and that's the upper part. And you'll notice that it's really light brown, which means it's burning nice and lean, but the fire's burning very slow, and that's what we're after.